am Stephanie Rublitz. Welcome to my channel. Today we are talking about another t-shirt hack. This is going to be the last in the line of uh, short sleeve t-shirt hacks. I'm going to put a pin in this for a little while and then come fall when I'm doing more long sleeve t-shirts, we'll get back into the whole t-shirt hack. It'll just be for winter and fall. And so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a cowl neck t-shirt. Now this is another experiment tutorial, experatorial thing. I've never done this before. The fabric I did wind up using um, is a bit of a thicker uh, organic cotton and I think there is a little bit of some kind of stretch fabric in there. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I got it from... where is it? Oh, I can't think of it. I just had it. I just had it. I got it from uh, a company that sells dead stock fabric and so like they're not always 100% sure like what kind of blends are in their fabric. Uh, why can't I think of the name of it? Why can't I think of the name? Mm. Yeah, no, I can't. Okay, anyway, moving on. So today's t-shirt is going to be a cowl neck adjustment. <gasps> Fab Cycle! They're called Fab Cycle! Okay, we're good. The reason why it's important to me to mention like what kind of fabric I'm making this out of, even though it's all jersey, is that this um, organic cotton is a little bit more drapier, it's a bit thinner. So the stuff that I ended up making my cowl neck out of, because I, I thought that I had, um, well I do, I also got this fabric in a gray, but for whatever reason I ordered half a meter less. I don't know, I don't know what I was thinking. But, um, so I ended up, I didn't have enough to make the cowl neck shirt. So, uh, yeah, I had to use a different jersey that I had lying around, and it is a thicker jersey. So the drape isn't maybe as nice as it would have been with this. It still is, it still worked out, uh, but yeah. But All right, so when I was researching how to do this, um, I saw a lot of suggestions that you take your pattern and do a slash and spread at the neckline. And this didn't really make sense to me because you still had to then like make a straight line across the neck. So what's the point of this little piece? Like why even bother with that? So uh, yeah. I'm just, I just didn't bother with that. <laughs> All right, so here I have my main pattern piece. I'm going to hold it at the bottom corner and I'm doing about a three inch spread here. Then I just place my pattern weights and trace all the way around my pattern piece. Okay, so technically you could totally just like offset your pattern piece and like make no other adjustments to it and then just cut out your pattern. I'm going to take the time to make a separate pattern piece for this because after I make my first shirt, if I want to do any adjustments to future shirts, then I'll make them on that pattern and I won't just have to try and like remember what needed doing. Um, when it comes to doing anything out of jersey, I don't make muslins because A, you've got stretch so the chances of it going wrong are a little bit less as long as you know you're, you're taking your measurements and, and whatever, like you can usually fix stuff. And also the only way for me to make a muslin for something with negative ease is to use the same kind of fabric that I would be using anyway. So why not just use the fabric and then like, if it doesn't work, deal with it rather than wasting the fabric. So anyway, that's why I, I, I'm not making a muslin. But I am making a pattern piece for this. This is just how I'm doing it. If you just want to angle your pattern piece right on your fabric and cut it out, hey, go right ahead. Once I get to the edge of my shoulder piece, um, I'm just going to stop tracing from there. And then I'm going to mark out what my new neckline is going to be. For this, I'm going to use my multi-purpose curved ruler. You can absolutely do um, a stronger curve or a straight line. It's totally up to you. Take a look at how my shirt turns out and then you'll know when you do yours if you want more of a curve with more billowing fabric or less. All right, so here is my pattern piece. And as always, make sure that you're marking your pattern piece, any relevant information. Do not, I don't know, don't trust yourself to remember. I know I don't. Now, if you wanted to make this pattern adjustment, and do it on a woven shirt. Um, the, there's one like big difference for that is you need like that little bit of extra drape. So you're going to want to cut this on the bias if you're doing it in a woven. Do not think that I'm saying you can take your pattern for your jersey t-shirt that has negative ease and turn it into a woven shirt. That's not what I'm saying. You can absolutely take a pattern for a woven shirt that has extra ease added into it 
do the same like tilt method to give you that extra um, fabric in the center, in the center front to give you that cowl neck. Um, but at that point you are going to want to make a full pattern piece, not just a half pattern piece, and you're going to want to then cut it on the bias. So I'm just, just letting you know, like we can do a whole tutorial on that, but PSA. All right, so I have cut my pieces out of fabric and I have my two shoulder seams already put together with my um, stay tape already added into the seam. Now you can see that my stay tape doesn't go all the way to the edge on either side. That's because I'm not putting on sleeves or banding. I'm gonna just fold in hems on either side. I'm gonna make this a sleeveless shirt. Um, so I'm gonna fold my stay tape towards the back so that the stay tape is covered and I don't want it to be too bulky on um, my hemmed edges. So that's why the tape doesn't go all the way to the edge. So now I'm just gonna turn over my sleeve edge and pin it out. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and hem that edge that it's all pinned out. I'm gonna use my double needle. Go ahead and use your overlocker, use whatever you have, whatever you prefer. Um, this is just the method I'm going to use so that I get a nice hem. Then I will repeat on the other arm as well as the neckline. All right, so I've gone and I tried my shirt on and since I am leaving the sleeves off, I do find that the arm side is kind of a little bit loose at the bottom. So I'm going to take in the top um, of my shirt under the arm. But before I do that, I want to mark it on my pattern. Remember, I made my pattern piece just in case I had to do any extra tweaks. So I want to remember this for next time. So I'm going to go ahead, mark that on my pattern, um, the amount that I'm taking off, and then I will go ahead and make that adjustment on both sides of my shirt. I'm also going to write a little note for myself to make the same adjustment on my back pattern piece. Um, and I'm doing this because I will just keep using the same back pattern piece that I use for all of these shirts. And then I'll just leave that note on my front pattern piece so after I cut my fabric in any future shirts, I'll just use the front piece to make that adjustment. I hope that makes sense to you the way I'm explaining it. Um, I just This allows me to have less pattern pieces if I just leave myself a note. Okay, so at this point I just completed my t-shirt as per the instructions that came with the pattern and I was done. Alright, here we go. All in all, I'm pretty happy with it. I think I might make a couple extra tweaks. Um, I definitely think I can take it in a little bit more at the waist, so I think I'm going to do that. I know like black is like the absolute worst to do this in to like try and show you the drape of the fabric which is why I was hoping to do it in the gray but um I apologize for that. Okay one thing that I am I am liking the drape of the cowl. One thing that I'm not totally sold on though is keeping my uh sleeveless arms the way they are but rather than like adjusting my pattern, I think what I might do is actually just like ruche it a little bit. Like just put a teeny bit of elastic in the sleeves because I feel like getting that little bit of ruching sort of accentuates the, I'm looking at my monitor, I'm sorry, sort of um, accentuates the cowl. So I think I might come back in and put a piece of elastic there. Yeah. There we go, another t-shirt hack. So this is the last one you're gonna see for a while until we get into long sleeve t-shirts in the fall. Um, but we will definitely be doing more t-shirt hacks, more off of the same pattern, trying to take that one free pattern and make it into as many different t-shirts as we possibly can. And yeah, I, I'm liking this. I am such a t-shirt girl. I really am, they're just, I just am. I love t-shirts. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. If you haven't already, please subscribe below and I will see you next time.